Welcome to English 101. I'm Susan Puckett, your instructor. I'm pleased to join you on your academic journey. And I'm looking forward to working with each one of you during the course of the semester. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the course shell that we will be using this semester so that you can move about within it and find what you need easily. <clears throat> First, I want to direct your attention to the left side of the screen, the column of buttons or links. Notice the arrow that allows you to collapse or expand this section. At the top is the announcements link. This course is set so that the announcements page is the first one you see. Traditionally, I use announcements for reminders and updates. You can access the announcements at any time by clicking on the button. And if you provide Calhoun with an email address contact, you will receive an email when an announcement is posted. The next link is the orientation link. Right now, it is a particularly important link since it includes essential information. As you see, when we click on the link, a module appears. Click to enter. The list on the left is the table of contents for the module. The links are active. This section can also be collapsed, expanded, or moved. In web-based courses, attendance is particularly important, but it is based on your completing assignments. The first week's attendance is based on your completing assignments by 11.59, Sunday, January 13. You will have two. One, an orientation quiz about information in this section. Two, setting up a document using MLA formatting and submitting it as an attached document. The answers to this quiz can be found by reading the information in the orientation module. Click on each item in the module. If there are attached documents, you can download them to save to your computer. The last item, the Getting to Know You mod, excuse me, the Getting to Know You link asks you to introduce yourself to the class in a discussion forum. English 101, the first of two freshman composition courses, focuses on critical reading, research skills, and academic writing. The course is structured with overlapping units so that students can build the skills necessary for academic writing. Summary, analysis, evaluation, research, the annotated bibliography, the academic essay, and the documented essay. Additionally, students will use, excuse me, additionally, students will use the publisher's companion software, MyCompLab, to develop skills and for review. Each unit will include reading assignments, vocabulary, open book quizzes, class discussions in the form of discussion posts, writing assignments, and one or more of the following, lecture, video, PowerPoint, web-based resources. Note that in some cases, note that in some cases the launch link takes you to a blank page. This is a technical issue that I am addressing. You will complete this section by either clicking on the table of content links or using the arrows. Returning to the course links, the class resources section begins with need assistance, which provides information for getting technical or academic assistance. Syllabus Plus is the go-to link for information. We will enter and explore it momentarily. 
the communications policy is a quick link to information essential to communicating in an online environment. Blackboard course email allows for messaging within the course. It is the preferred method for person-to-person -person communication. Click on the link to open course email. My contact information is available in the instructor information link. The course content section will expand to include units and assignments as the course progresses. Currently only the first week, discussions, and my grades are available to you. Check back on Thursday for updates and unit postings. The discussion board has a getting to know you thread for introductions and there is a cyber cafe that provides a place to meet and talk. The last section is the Campus Resources section. The Library Services link provides access to Calhoun's library page. This link is also available on the college homepage. Click on Blackboard Student Help for tutorials and information. Smart Thinking is a great resource. We will be exploring it later in this course. The Student Services link is also available on the college's homepage. There are a number of valuable links, including the Rhodes Program, a free tutorial service. The Tools link is to tools available on Blackboard. Integrity Classes gives you access to lecture videos. Now let's return to the Syllabus Plus link and click to enter. The module provides a variety of resources. You will have seen some of the, this information in the orientation section, but this link is intended to allow easy access to the information you need to complete the assignment in the course and to provide answers to some of the questions you may already have. As with the content section, this section will expand to meet your needs. After you have explored our virtual classroom, Send me a Blackboard email if you have questions or concerns about content, the quiz, or the MLA formatting section. Your success is my goal. Think of me not only as an instructor, but as a coach or a trainer. Let me know what works well for you, when you are challenged, or when you are confused. We will be learning new skills and developing them along the way. Take a deep breath. Exhale. I think a wonderful journey lies ahead. I'm pleased we'll be, we will be making it together.